it's raining again. So we thought we'd make a video on the old discontinued O-Bag. No, I'm only joking. We're running through lights for your Brompton Electric. The Brompton Electric comes as standard with a Bush and Muller AVY light. It's 40 lumens. We have been asked a lot of times if it is possible to upgrade your Brompton Electric front light to a brighter light. So after some research, we found a light that you can use on your Brompton Electric in place of the light that it comes with. It has more lumens. However, we wouldn't necessarily recommend it because we're pretty certain this will impact on your Brompton warranty. But yes, it is possible to change your front light. This video about the Brompton Electric alternative lights is in three parts. The first bit, the introduction. The second bit, which was the nitty gritties or most of the details of fitting the light, which we found a little bit boring on the watch through. So you might want to skip that unless you really, really want to know how to fit it. And then the third part is the difference of the light in the daytime and at night. Please bear in mind that the lights on the Brompton Electric are not compatible with dynamo lights. They're specific for electric bicycles. They are powered by the battery. So what's in my mini O bag? In the bag, we have the Sio E. It is much bigger than the current light on the Brompton Electric. So we will be checking that this is compatible with the front carrier block and it doesn't interfere. It's raining. Sorry for the slight lack of continuity. When we started this video, it started raining. So we stopped. Then we did another video and we changed tires. So then we continued. But it looks beautiful with its new tires. We really hope the alternative lights work. Otherwise, this might be the last time you see our Brompton Electric with a front light on it. The current AVY from Bush and Muller does not have an on and off switch. You can turn it on onto automatic so it senses whether it's dark or light. Currently it thinks it's light or off using the button on the battery. We have the Sio E Premium. This is 80 lumens and it's 700% the light output of the German requirements. It does have an on and off switch. So it's going to be interesting to see how it works with the functions on the battery. This is part of our getting ready for autumn stroke winter, but it is currently raining in summer. So we're going to move into a dry area to fit the lights. We never think that electricity and water mix so well together. So here we are a week later with hopefully the tools to complete the job. The AV light has an input that runs from the control unit to the light itself and then an output for the rear light. The complexity we had was reconnecting the front light to the control unit. So why did it take us an extra week? We had to find and order some tools. What have we got? We've got some paper. We have lots of little connections. We have connection block and some more paper. And a small removal tool. We need to take this connector off so we can save this little bit of rubber. That is this little bit of rubber that stops the weather or the rain getting into your front carrier block. So why do we go to all the lengths to order a tool specifically to remove the connector without destroying it. Because we want to make sure that we have ordered the right connectors for other, our new shiny lights. So now we're going to see if I can take him apart without damaging him. So the instructions tell you that you only need to do it on one side. So that's what we're going to try. I have one coming out. And now we have two wires out. So the key moment of truth is whether we've ordered the right connectors to put onto our light. I'm pleased to report 
The connectors that we have purchased look very much like the connectors that are used on the light. We're nearly finished with the old light. We're just going to remove this bit of rubber and reuse it on our light, remembering what orientation it goes in. He just simply pulls off. And then we're going to remove the protective casing as well. Again, just pulls off the light. My nice new shiny 80 lumen light. It comes with an optional reflector. But that's not what we're going to explain. We're just going to take him out of the packaging. And then we're going to use our old light as a template to shorten our front cable. This is too long. This is for the rear light. I'm going to line them up. So I need to cut to there. I hate cutting cables. It feels very committal. Okay, ready? Then I'm going to get rid of the old line. And now we're going to reuse our saved protective sheath. I'm going to pop him on. And then the little bit of rubber that we saved making sure it goes in the right way round, so the bigger bit towards the light. And then we're ready to get our wire ready for the connecting block. So we're going to separate the two wires using some wire cutters just to cut the end. So we cut the end and we're just going to prise them apart slightly. Just like that. And now we're going to fit a couple of connectors. Two. So now we've got our wires cut to length. We're going to pop these two little connectors onto the wires and then we're going to crimp them on really hard so they look like the original light, like this. And then we're going to pop them into here so that we can put them in the front carrier block. So we're going to put the little connectors onto the wire. So we have it that a little bit of the metal is over the plastic sheath and then this thicker bit of metal is on the wire. And we're going to crimp that hard onto the wire. So now we're going to put him into the connector. So now we're going to expose the light connector in the front carrier block. We're going to undo this using a Torx too. So this is the inside of the control unit. We're just going to attach the light to make sure it works before we attach it to the bicycle and do the cable routing. And now I'm going to remove the cable clip. This is held in place with two Torx screws. This keeps the cable secure and stops them from jiggling around when you're cycling. And next we're going to expose the connector. And then we're going to disconnect it from the carrier block. So now, in theory, we just plug in our new light. So we're going to test it before we remove the old one. So we're going to plug the connector into the front carrier block. So I'm just going to chuck the battery on to make sure that everything works. Turn it on. Let's turn the light on. It works! Perfect! So now I'm going to take it off and then put, do the cable routing and attach the rear light to the bicycle. 
Now I've got my new light that I know is working, I'm going to remove my old light and put my new light on. For this, I will need a spanner and some Allen keys. I need a four millimeter Allen key and a 10 millimeter spanner. I'm going to hold this, the nut in place and I'm going to undo this side. So now the light is undone. I'm going to pull the cable through to give me a bit of space. I'm just going to pull it down so it's by the fork and pull it out and pull it slightly forward. Next, I'm going to remove the old light. Although the light comes fitted on a bracket, this bracket will not fit with the Brompton Electric. So I'm going to take the light off the bracket and pop it onto the Brompton Electric bracket. Using my 4mm Allen key and my 10mm spanner, I'm going to find a fifth hand to help me. I'm going to pop the protective sleeves over the rear connections. Now I'm going to connect the spades the black to the black and the black and white to the red. And then we're going to check the light works before we carry on with the installation. Pop on the battery. And then check that the light works. The front light is working. Woohoo! And we're going to check that the rear is working as well. which it is. So we're ready to wire it up properly. So I'm just going to pop the sleeves over the spades, making sure they're nicely covered. We have extra cable for the rear. That will come in useful when we fit a rack. And then we're going to pop the light into the bracket. We're going to carefully remove the connector and then I want to feed the front wire through the correct route. So it goes over the mudguard and I'm going to pass it through the forks and then gently pull it up inside the forks and then pass it round through the controller into its connection. And before we put the controller casing on, we're going to again check that it still works. It does when it's turned on. So we're just going to get the cable so that we can seal it in place. So we're going to pop it in place and then carefully so that you can still see it, connect it up. When installing the cover you need to make sure this protrusion goes into this hole, that one there. and then it fits in place nicely. Before I take it out to test it at night, I'm going to make sure it's all working happily now. I'm going to grab the battery again. Pop it on. And my front light is happily working, as is my rear light. So next, we have to wait for it to get dark and take it out for a test ride and compare it to the standard Brompton light. But we won't make you wait that long. We'll speed up time. This is the standard Brompton Electric front light. We're going to try and compare to the one we have just fitted to see if you can see a difference in the daylight. And this is the new light that we have just fitted to our Brompton Electric. I actually think it looks brighter in the daytime. I hope you can see it. We thought we'd compare to the cat eye 
amp 500 to see what it looked like in the daytime. Quite bright. It's really good. The automatic function still works with the replacement light. Now we're going to try and film in the dark. Da, da, da. Test one is the Volt 500. It's not. It's a Cat Eye Amp 500. It's really quite bright. I could use this quite happily as a commuting light. It's bright and I can see and it's mounted low so it really helps light up the road as I go. It would be an easy second light on the handlebar mounts. It's nice. I can see really well. So here we are with the standard Brompton Electric front light. I had to check that it was actually on. It's not very bright. Yep, I can definitely see why people want to replace this. Standard Brompton Electric front light. So, time to take our newly fitted light out in the dark. It's really quite a big beam of light that it casts. We can see really quite well. I'm quite impressed. If you like this video about the Brompton Electric light options, please give us a big thumbs up. And also, it'd be great if you subscribe to our channel. Have you tried any other lights on your Brompton Electric and made them successfully work? We'd really love it if you let us know. If you've got any questions or comments, please comment in the comment section below. So what have we got in here? We don't want customer returns information. So this is my new, nice new Volvo. <laughs> And now, here's a table we made earlier. I hate this. Then we're going to get a smaller torque. But in theory, when I put the battery on, the light should come on. I'm nervous. I have no light. Four millimeter Allen key to hold this side of the light. And then I just need to go and get a spanner. So now my light is undone, I'm going to feed the front cable out through from the mudguard. Mudguard? It's not a mudguard, it's a fork. I'm going to pop on the battery. Can I do that again? 